Hey, this is Matt Reisinger at Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. We're just finishing a very fun 1960s remodel with Weber Studios. Beautiful architecture in this house, but I wanted to show off some simple craftsmanship that I think might be applicable in a lot of projects around the country. First, let me give you a quick tour of this. This is a Jack and Jill bath. Um, over here, we've got two girls that are gonna share this bathroom. We've got a fairly simple subway tile uh, on the walls, a glazed tile, and then we've got a marble floor that's just beautiful. Great selections by uh, Jennifer Greer Hartman, the interior designer, and the whole uh, architecture team at Weber Studios. But I wanted to show you especially, specifically the cabinetry in here. This is not particularly expensive or hard to do cabinetry, but it's been done with really a, a great craftsmanship touch. Obviously we've got a sink here, so these two trap doors are fixed, and we haven't put hardware on yet. But if you look in here, our guys have done a great job of going full depth here where we can, and where we couldn't, where we've got some plumbing in the way and a P-trap, they still gave us some great drawer space over here. It takes a little bit of extra work, but man, that's really nice. And of course, this is just painted MDF, so this is not super expensive materials. But the crown jewel, I think, of this, uh, of this bathroom is this beautiful medicine cabinet. Looks like a standard mirror. It's a piece of uh, painted MDF for a door. We've got a great little piece of touch latch hardware on here that uh, is a real inexpensive one. I'll put a link in the comments to that uh, piece on there. And then of course an outlet. All the plywood for this is pre-finished plywood. This is a pre-finished birch plywood. And anytime you sink a medicine cabinet into an exterior wall, you really wanna do a good job of trying to insulate back there. So we did two layers of three quarter inch rigid foam uh, behind here. So we've got an inch and a half of rigid foam insulation. Uh, in a two by six wall cavity. So that allowed us basically to do a four inch deep medicine cabinet. And again, look how slick that is. Nice and flush. Again, inexpensive touch latch and it really goes away. Not a super hard detail, but it takes a lot of craftsmanship and it really takes some thought ahead of time. Thanks for joining everybody. We'll see you next time.